Hello, so this question is number of equilibrium dominant pairs. So um, basically this is straightforward. What you need is this this is a pair and this is a, another pair, this is as and, and so on, right? And then the order in the pairs doesn't matter as long as they match. So imagine one and two and two and one. They are considered the same because if you switch the order you will get one and two and this will actually you know consider one pair so this one will consist consider three pairs why one pairs two pairs three pairs so what do we need to do is pretty straightforward since the element in the in the, in the array doesn't matter right the element orders uh, doesn't affect the results so what we need we need to find out the mean we need to find out the max right so once we find out the mean, so the element range is between 1 to 9. So I can say, okay, I got a mean, right? I multiply it by 10. I add a max. And this has to be, a you know, a, definitely a unique number for, for appears, right? So um, for, for right here, 1, 1 is a mean value, 1 times 10 plus 2. So you, you get 12 for here. And then you get 12, another 12 for here, right? So it's actually 2 frequency. How about this one? 34, right? And this is going to be 56. So they are all unique, right? As long as they are, what? They are the same pair, so you can compare. So now we look at the frequency. So we need to return the number of pairs. So the number of combination is what? n times n minus 1 divided by 2. So, um, when n, when n equal to 1 is actually straightforward, right? Um, it, I mean, sorry, when n equal to 2, right? n equal to 2 is straightforward. 2 times 2 minus 1, which is what? 2 times 2 minus 1 is 1. So everything in a numerator, 2 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. How about this one? 3 times 2, right? This one, this one, this one is 3. 3 times 2 divided by 2, which, which is 3, right? So this is just a math um, to find out the combination. So I need to return result, right? And I need to use a hash map, mm -hmm. store the key value. And then traverse the dominoes. All right, so I'm going to initialize the k value. So 10 times the math on mean between what? 0 and 1, right? So 0, comma 1. So this will be exactly the same thing, but what? Max plus max. And once I get this value, and put, put my k into the map and make sure I have the frequency, right? So once I get this one, I'm going to traverse the what? the value because I don't care about the key anymore I care about the frequency so so what is the frequency it's going to be in the uh, map dot values right so result with plus equal the uh, the number of peers right so it doesn't have to be a maximum right it has to be what a number of peers you can have multiple different elements so it's going to be v times v minus 1 divided by 2. So this is the total number of pairs. So imagine that this is 2, 2, right? 2, 2 and 2, 2 will consider a pair, right? So this will be it. So yeah. So for time and space, this is space. I will say open. You can put every single number into the pairs, uh, into the map. Time, this is all open for sure. This is all of V, so lo the worst case is going to be this one, right? So if you have any question, leave a comment. See you next time, bye.